Thank you very much. PLP. 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 I learned that from Picewell Forbes, by the way. <laughs> that, that last one, he goes, PLP. And you say, no other way. So thank you very much to all of you for this award. It is a humbling experience. And to be able to join all of you for the dedicated work which you do for the Progressive Liberal Party. It's volunteer work. And you do it from the heart. I cannot be prouder, and I know I speak on behalf of the Secretary General and Lula Mae Smith, of the work which, and the Deputy Chair, of the work which the men's branch is doing has done and will continue to do. So congratulations to them all. And each time I get invited to a men's branch event, I'm surprised at the growth which takes place as a result of the leadership of this organization. Uh, the Secretary General tells me next up is a choir. <laughs> now I told them once they don't ask me to sing, I support it 100% because I can't carry a note. But this is what I mean. It goes from strength to strength. So I was flipping through uh, these social media posts a couple of days ago. And I saw where Dwayne Sands, who is the chairman of the FNM, said that the PLP knows that its time is at an end. <laughs> now, if we were in the schoolyard, I'd tell him something. <laughs> but we're not. So I'm not going to go there. But here you have a man who was condemned by the courts for interfering in the Frank Smith case. You have a man who was fired as Minister of Health for breaking his own COVID rules. And then you have the leader of the opposition who himself, when he was chairman of the FNM, was forced to resign because of allegations of skullduggery. And now, they want to get up and tell the PLP what to do and where to go. Now they get fired from Elizabeth. <laughs> That's true. That's true. And let them come again. Let them come. Yes. As they say, cut ass will be coming. <laughs> we promise it. You know that expression, right? Mind you, mind you a good friend of mine who, who is a who was a preacher at Abaco, told me I should say that for a public platform. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, right? And he dared me to say it. And you know, that's all you have to do is, <laughs> is dare me to say it. You know, then I, you know, I, told, I t just told the Secretary General that um, I passed my expiry date long time, so I could talk anything I want to say, <laughs> you know? And they say, there goes Mitchell again talking. <laughs> you know, but, the serious message is that we have a job to accomplish, and that is re-election in 2026. That's job number one. And we are just past the halfway point. So what is happening now is there's a review going on of the work we've accomplished and where we need to get to. And it will require the dedication of all PLPs to make sure we get over this hump in 2026. Yeah. We cannot do it without you. It needs all of us to work together, to hold hands, to have trust and faith in the leadership of the organization. That's right. And this goes across the board, men and women, young and old. There's no separation. We're all together. Baptists, Anglicans, Catholics, we're all together in the Progressive Liberal Party, working for one cause, victory in 2026. And I hope that when the story is written of the Progressive Liberal Party long after those of us who are on the front line have gone, there will be those in this room who will continue this great story started by H.M. Taylor and continued by Lyndon Pindling and all the other giants that took us to independence and then brought all of the national institutions which we enjoy today. So 
let's continue that story. It's a good story to tell. We must continue to tell the story every day of the greatness of the Progressive Liberal Party. It's uh, the greatest political organization in this country. So on behalf of our Prime Minister and the leader of our party, the Honorable Philip Edward Brave Davis, I want to thank the Men's Branch, thank all of you for your service, those who were awarded tonight for all the work and dedication you do. He told me that he's asked you next week to stop by the office on Monday, so you'll have a meeting about the plans for the future and where you intend to head. So that's a good thing. And I look forward to continuing to work with you, with all of you, in the future to ensure, as I said, 2026 is victory number two. Yes. Thank you very much.